everyone, and I'm Shane Stevenson, you know where, at the Buffalo Naval Park. And for today's video, this is part three of the USS Little Rock's Missile House. And where I am today is in the area one, so I'm doing it in reverse. You saw the stowage, you saw the assembly, and now we're in the wing and fin part of the missile house. Now this wing and fin part, um, it was like the last stage before the Talos missile went on to the launcher. And, um, but a little housekeeping first. All right, if you've watched our live video uh, from uh, this past Wednesday, you'll know that one of our subscriber giveaways uh, we kind of joked about was a cover. All right, so this cover I'm gonna be wearing in the next few videos, and then we're gonna give it away at a subscriber giveaway. So you will see, uh, the, and I've even left the, uh, the New Era cap thing on there. Uh, I might remove the price, but, uh, so that is what you can win uh, through our first subscriber giveaway. We also talked about, um, you know, we also talked about the, uh, a flag, flying a flag on the, an ensign on each of our ships and uh, that will be another giveaway as well. But we're trying to start that. Uh, I apologize in advance, this video will probably be longer than 10 minutes. All right, if some of them happen, I've tried to work really hard at keeping them under 10, but there's of course a few that are a little bit more. This will be one of them. I have Alan Jordan with me today, uh, behind the camera, that's nice. Uh, hello everybody. Hello, yeah, uh, maintenance foreman, uh, Alan Jordan, you've met him before. And we are gonna be roaming around the, the wing and fin room. So the wings were attached manually to the missile. The fins were attached manually to the booster. All right, so if you take a look over here, you'll see there's the assembly area that we covered in yesterday's video. It brings those trays, they, will, they move, and there's the rail right here, and it brings it through to the assembly area here for the wings and fins. Now what we see here are the stowage for the wings and the fins. You have some here inside these two rammer rails. All right, so that's where the most of the work comes from, is inside of the rammer rails. We also have stowage for the wings and fins on the outside of the rammer rails as well. Uh, one of the really cool things that we learned is that once these uh, once the wings and fins are on, this is traveling, it doesn't have far to go, but it travels at 12 feet a second. So it's, you know, it's 0 to 60, you know, it stops, or it's not moving, and boom, it just goes super quick. All right, and one of the things is for those guys that are manually putting on the wings and fins, what they would do is they would come behind the shield, and they would step on this foot pedal, or right here. And that indicates uh, to the launcher that everyone is out of the way and clear. They're behind the screen, all right? And so if anything happens, uh, at least they're semi-protected with the screen. And that launcher indicator uh, computer will light up with everyone is clear and we're ready to move the launch. We're ready to move the missile. So we've got four spots here. And also on port, you can see it right there, we have the two foot pedals, the screen, and then also just forward of here as well. So that's a way of protecting the crew to say, all right, I'm clear, I've clicked my foot, we're ready to move it. If we come this way, oh God, this guy, all right. So here we have the launcher. All right, so this is actually the mechanism that controls it. Uh, the missile uh, and controls the rammer rail from area two to the wing and fin and then right out to the launcher itself. So once it's attached in area two to the rammer rail, this, uh, the crew here would be able to move it along the rammer rail for the wings and fins. And then once that's completed, it will then, they will raise and lower uh, the butterfly doors, which you see right here. And you can see that rail continues, all right? And so that, the, the bottom door comes down, 
the upper door goes up, the launcher extends out, and that leads right, uh, or the ram rail extends out, and that leads right out to the Mark 7 launcher that we have on the stern of the USS Little Rock. Uh, they also had a guy standing watch for these doors, because these doors, obviously, they probably weigh multiple tons, uh, and someone can get crushed pretty easily, and they're hydraulic, so again, they're very smooth and they move very quickly. So they would have a guy standing watch to make sure that no one was standing there to get uh, pinned against uh, the aft missile house and the armor-plated steel on the outside of the missile house itself. All right, so also along with uh, the wing and fin room, would be the warhead stowage areas. Uh, this was something in our last week's live. Someone asked about, did we carry nuclear weapons uh, and where would they have been stored? As I said, we carried, from what I've been told, about eight to 10 nuclear warheads. And as we also mentioned in the live video, a lot of the spaces that you see, I'm also seeing for the first time. So Alan got all jacked up and uh, we are going to be going down to those areas where the stowage and magazines for the warheads. Now if I show this map, and I'll show it to you better, but we are up here, right, the wing and fin area, there are the two doors, we are standing right about here. We are going to try to head down some of this area, again for the first time, you'll see it for the first time with us. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's roll. Okay, you saw the wing and fin area, now we're in the, on the second deck, in the special weapons office. So we are on the port side, again this, even though now it's below the main deck, it was still all of the uh, stowage for the nuclear weapons and other warheads. Uh, so we are in the special weapons office, uh, on port. What you see here is we have the trolley hoist and the elevator. All right, so this elevator went all the way down to the second platform and it brought up the warheads into the trolley hoist, which then brought it here to the warhead receiving stand. And on starboard, let's head over to starboard there, we do have the access hatch right here. All right, but the other one on starboard is actually open, so you can see the rails here to lift up the warhead. And if we watch our heads, <laughs> now here's the receiver over here. You'll see it goes right through there. There's another uh, coupling there, but then that would lead the warhead right to the assembly area in area two. And so the warheads, again, would come up the elevator on the trolley rail, leading to the receiver stands, and then up into the actual missile house uh, and the superstructure itself. Now, we showed you third deck, first platform, second platform on that schematic. Uh, we got the hatch open here. Uh, I'm going to go down there, and again, this is the first time I'm seeing it, the first time you're seeing it, I assume, unless you snuck on board in the middle of the night at some point, and uh, you got in here yourself. But if you're gonna, if you're not, if you're good boys and girls, you're coming down for the first time. I'm not gonna go down all the way, uh, just because I don't think we're prepared to do that fully today, but I'm gonna go down to the third deck and take the camera, and we're gonna wander around. So, here we go. All right. Okay. Yeah, I got it good. Oof. Any other type of 
handrail for you, Shane. Yeah, there's one right here, but yeah, usually you see them on. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not pretty down there. But then again, most of you old salts know that. Again, so this looks like, oh, it's classified material. It's like a classified material office. Storeroom. Yeah, it seems like it's a storeroom for not the warheads themselves, but the, um, just like records, it seems, this area here. It's supply. Classified material supply. All right, you piqued my interest. I'm coming. Oh, you're going <laughs> to... I'm coming! It's part of S1 division. And now... All right, lean back. Three points of contact, sir. Three points contact, sir. Oh, all right. It's a surprise. Oh, it's just, oh. Well, it says classified material. Chris and then, the, you know, the bullseye is S, S1 division. So it's kind of like a stores, but classified material. Boy. Again, rack. Protect, right, uh, to, keep them in, to keep them in. Lack of a better phrase there, everyone. I know it's. Oh, there's one right there. Yeah. Nice. Okay. And then obviously the cubby holes, probably for storage of yeah, all material. It's just numbered. So they had a number system and a filing catalog mm -hmm. of what would have been what. And we are... So we are right where your thumb is. Yes, sir. All right, so we went, just went down this one level to the third deck. Yeah. This time we're not going to go down any farther, but... And we're starboard side. No, we're port. Uh, yeah, we came down our way. We're right, well, right in the middle. This is where the hoist is. Yes. That's where your elevator That's the, is. Yes, so we are on starboard. Okay. Hammer, elevator components, elevator. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So right behind that bulkhead is where the elevator to bring up the warheads from the second platform. Uh, yes, we are on starboard. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Boy, look at that old. Look at that old. I see side. that. That is. It's not black and yellow. Wow. Yeah. I got a glove. Try to glove. Something M L M. Is that L M? Yeah. L M C four zero nine L M. Okay. We'll have to research that one, everybody. Yeah. Or if you know it, we could get Sometimes you a Sometimes they L as living, but that's not. Oh. You know. That could be the deciding factor to win that hat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's the tiebreaker. Oh my word. And again, that's what's on that bullet. L M. Oh yeah, yeah, yes. You're right. Okay, everyone, sorry, this is a little teaser. We are going to come down here at a future date, probably after the 28 and 28. Um, but you're seeing what we're seeing for the first time. And this would have been, again, as with everything else, with any of the ammunition on board, it's uh, like the lower handling rooms, the lower storage, stowage magazines. And But for now, Alan and Shane are gonna, we're gonna sign off. And- uh, Bye everybody. Bye, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks so much.